Hello, this is Crimson of Socialite Media, and I'm here today with a new tutorial on how to make these creepy, awesome Halloween nails or claws. So we're going to start off with model magic and something round that we can set our nails on. We're also going to need a non-stick surface such as a piece of wax or parchment paper or a smooth plastic surface like a bite. Optional is an X-Acto or a razor blade. In place of this, you could also easily use a pair of scissors. So you're going to start by taking a small amount of the Model Magic. You're going to roll it into a ball in your hands. And then you're just going to kind of rub your hands together to create a cone shape. And after you get the shape that you like, you're going to pinch at the part that's going to go over your nails and kind of pull out away from that. You rarely have to apply any pressure, just kind of drag your fingers along it and it will create a nice nail shape. And you can kind of curve it as you're doing that. I kind of made the sides flat a little, I didn't want them to curve around a lot as much as I did just want it to curve straight down more. So if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, just watch the video, I'm pretty sure you'll get it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the rest of your nails. I also did apply the nail on my finger to get the shape of my nail, so that would apply perfectly when I would go to apply later. You can also create different nail bed shapes, you can make a more natural shape that looks like a real nail, or you can make one that kind of looks like it's growing out of your finger as like kind of an overgrown claw or something. Or you can make it sort of what I was trying to go for, which something that kind of wraps around your finger a little bit. I did all the nails a little differently, just to make it look very um, mismatched and ununiform. I also made a couple extra nails just in case because I'm going to be wearing these more than once. After you make all these shapes, you're going to press them onto a round object. I'm using a large sharpie. Leave them there for about 15 to 20 minutes and they will set in that shape enough so that when you set them down on a table or a flat surface that they're not gonna lose the curve you created. And make sure you do that with all the nails. Next we are going to paint them after the clay has dried overnight or a day or whatever your pack instructions say, I don't remember, I usually just let them sit overnight. So now that your claws are dry, we're going to paint them. I used yellow, eggplant purple, white, dark brown, and two different colors of glitter paint. Also a metallic gold. But I'm starting off the yellow and the white mixed together with some of the blue glitter, and I'm applying that all over the claw. I'm holding the claw by the nail bed and painting the outer part of it first and then after that dries I paint the nail bed part and then I'm going in with the purple and I'm blending that over the yellow starting at the tip of the nail and blending it towards the bed. I'm also using a flat brush and just dragging that away from the tip towards the nail bed so that it gives it a nice streaky look and also modeling a little bit to make it look messier. And then after that dries I go into the nail bed and I apply the dark brown around the edges, blend it into the gold, and blend all that away from the nail bed going towards the end of it. And also apply the brown on the underside of the nail bed so that when you're wearing it, it doesn't show the white part of the clay. And on the underside of the claw, I also applied some purple to give it more dimension, as well as layering on some brown over that. And on the top of the nail, I also put a streak of the metallic gold over the entire length of the nail to give it more dimension as well.
going to finish these calls off with a sealant of your choice. I'm using Glossy Mod Podge. You could use any kind of Mod Podge that you'd like. Or you could use a nail polish clear coat or top coat. You could also use school glue or leave it without any kind of coat on it at all. It's up to you. I use Mod Podge because it's my sealant of choice. Clear polish would definitely give it some strength. If you have any kind of precarious edges on your nail, such as like a really pointy tip that you can already see kind of bending a little or anything like that, um, just apply the sealant a little thicker on there. And I'm using the same method I used to apply the Mod Podge as I did to paint it. I'm painting the front end first, and then after that dries, I'm painting the back end. If you're using Mod Podge, you do want to let it cure for a couple hours to a day. I usually let my stuff dry for a day or two. This is super easy and fun to make, and if you want to make these even scary, you can add some dried blood, make the nails darker or grungier looking, whatever works for you in your costume. This has been Crimson of Social Media, I hope you enjoyed the video. So thank you so so much for watching, I hope to see you in the next video, Bye bye